good afternoon my dear students today we are discussing about diagnosis of pregnancy so what is the diagnosis means identification of pregnancy how to identification of the pregnancy so one woman uh, is a pregnant or not how to detect by the different different methods so this methods is the detection of detection of the pregnancy or not is detected so the pregnancy is diagnosed by the by the approaches the three methods by the identified by the three methods so how to identify one is the physical examination methods physical examination methods and number 2 laboratory evaluation method laboratory evolution method and number 3 number 3 ultrasonography so ultrasonography by the performance of these three examinations so we detect the so we detect the pregnant or not so first we discuss about the physical examination so physical examination how to identify so so this one observation of a woman observation of a woman how to uh, identify it means first one is um blue discolorization of the cervix and vagina so the vagina and cervix it the blue discolorization discoloration of the of the cervix and vagina so vagina cervix both are the blue discoloration so this one is known as a the sign is known as a chadwick sign so by the chadwick sign identify the identify the identify the pregnant so this is a chadwick sign so what is a chadwick sign blue discoloration of the cervix and vagina so the next one number 2 physical examination is the softening of cervix softening of cervix so this sign is known as a godel sign so godel sign by the godel sign by the chadwick sign identify them identify the uh, physical examination of the pregnancy and the next one the next one darkening of the nipple darkening of the nipple darkening of the nipples and the next one number 4 is a unexplained pelvic or abdominal mass pelvic and abdominal mass so these are the physical examination and the next one uh, the next one fifth one is the breast and nipple tenderness tenderness means so for example so this is a, a normal condition it is a normal condition and this is the normal condition means is a non pregnant so this one is a pregnant in condition darkness is identified at the surrounding area of the nipple and nipples and at the lateral pregnant so at the lateral pregnant the breast size increase and nipple size is also increase very darkness compare than the Uh, compare the other normal size this is the breast and nipple tenderness and the next one sixth one is a nausea nausea and the seventh one is a urinary frequency urinary frequency so this is the um, uh, physical examination of the pregnancy this seven and the next one number 2 is the laboratory evolutions so laboratory evolution or investigation so the most commonly uh, the most commonly used assay is a beta sub unit hcg so the next one other hormones have be used the diagnosis of the progesterone and the next one uh, pregnancy factors also identified so this is the uh, these are the uh, physical examination uh, physical examination and the next one so in the physical uh, the the, the, uh, the next one lab uh, evolution is the first one method is a home pregnancy test 
होम प्रेगनेंसी टेस्ट मेथड सो होम प्रेगनेंसी टेस्ट मेथड इज अ इज अ डिटेक्ट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द एच सी जी इन यूरिन सैंपल होम प्रेगनेंसी टेस्ट मीन यूरिन टेस्ट सो यूरिन टेस्ट इन द यूरिन टेस्ट मीन ईडेंटिफाई द एच सी जी ह्यूमन क्रोनिक गोनोड्रोपिन हारमोन इज प्रेजेंटेड इन द यूरिन आर नॉट is identified so in, the, in this kind method so most current pregnancy this is the most current pregnancy test method most current pregnancy uh, diagnosis test method so in here in here approximately in here approximately 25 to 35 mi u ml sample is placed on the placed on the one year strip placed on the one strip so in this strip the uh, identify the test and C, t and c are the uh, symbols are there the test is means uh, so in this condition so in this area so we uh, place the two to three drops two to three drops are placed in the strip so placed in the strip so in this condition uh, <coughs> this one is the yes so yes is me uh, s area yes basin the s means a solid line approaches approaches at the c area so approaches the c area after a minute of first the one one symbol is identified in the c area after one minute after one minute so appears the t area include that is the patient is pregnant so first line is first two to three drops are sample uh, urine sample are placed in the s basin so <coughs> within to to within one minute so first to approach is the one line so then after the one line within one minute it converts to two lines at the t area means the pregnancy is positive pregnancy is positive this is a uh, most pregnancy test uh, this one is a uh, uh, used in this home pregnancy test so this is about the home pregnancy test so this uh, tests are the, the kits are available direct kits and indirect uh, tests are also available so these are home pregnancy tests are the two types one is the direct method and the second one is the indirect method direct method and indirect method so what is the direct method it is a latex uh, latex agglutination it is a latex agglutination method and this one is the agglutation inhibition method agglutation inhibition method so a uh, agglutate uh, latex agglutation method uh, uh, then next agglutation inhibition test so this is um, uh, the, uh, the the next one in the urine value so in the urine urine it containing the hcg hormone at the uh, pregnant condition urine hcg value extremely variable in time range from the range from the 12 to 2500 2500 MIU per ml is a uh, normal value so the, uh, these are the most commonly used in this uh, method this is the uh, this is a uh, home pregnancy test method so this is a lab, uh, lab investment method so this is a urine test the next one blood test also so blood test also detect the um, detect the pregnant or not so this is a uh, the, the next one this is a uh, experiment is um, number one is a uh, radio immuno assay immuno assay method radio immuno assay method the next one immuno uh, immuno odometric assay immuno immuno radio metric assay immuno radio metric assay and the next one and the next one elisa eli uh, sa enzyme linked immuno sorbent assay elisa means enzyme linked immuno sorbent assay and the next one is a um, fluoro immuno assay immuno assay methods these are the radio immuno assay immuno uh, immuno radio assay and the next one elisa fluoro uh, fluoro immuno assay these four methods are the blood uh, depends upon the blood sample is detect the uh, pregnancy detect the pregnancy so first we discuss about the each and every one of the blood samples so first one is a um, radio immuno assay radio immuno assay so radio immuno assay is a this is a sensitivity is a 5 uh, 5 mu l for ml so the sample is a 5 ml u by ml 
so the, uh, the next one time completed within 4 hours so time completed time completed within 4 hour the next one this is the um, uh, this is the identified in the uh, identified in the post conceptation age and the next one gestational age so post conceptional age when when first positive when first positive 10 to 18 days 10 to 18 days or gestational age when first positive post conceptional age gestational age gestational age is the 3 to 4 weeks so this one is a 10 to 8 days only so this is the radio immuno assay and the next one immuno radio assay radiometric assay immuno radiometric assay immuno radiometric assay is this is a sensitivity is a sensitivity 150 ml u by uh, ml u by ml the next one this is the time completed within 30 minutes time is the within 30 minutes this is the 4 hours time the next one post conception age post conception age is the first positive 18 to 20 days 18 to 20 days within 18 to 20 days we detected with this method and the next one gestational age method within uh, for, uh, when first positive is um 4 weeks 4 weeks the next one method is um immuno radiometric assay immuno radiometric assay immuno radiometric assay so this is one is a immuno radiometric assay it this one is a immuno radiometric assay especially this one is a more sensitive more sensitive it is a less sensitive more sensitive and less sensitive so the sensitivity is the so the sensitivity is the of one uh, sorry 1500 ml uh, 1500 ml u per ml so this is the sensitivity and the next one time completed uh, within two minutes within two minutes and post just uh, post contraception age post contraception age is a uh, when first positive is a 25 to 28 days 25 to 25 days and gestational age is the first positive uh, first positive is a um, five weeks five weeks so this is the uh, this is the radio immuno assay and immuno radiometric assay less sensitive more sensitive so the next one enzyme linked immuno sorbent assay elisa enzyme linked immuno sorbent assay elisa so the elisa is the uh, elisa is detection of the uh, detection the uh, detection of the pregnant or not so sensitivity is the what is the sensitivity sensitivity is the 25 ml u for ml and time is the time to complete 80 minutes 80 minutes and post conception age is a post conception age when first positive 14 to 17 days 14 to 17 days gestational age first positive is a 3 to 5 weeks or 3 uh, 3 uh, sorry 3.5 weeks only so this is the elisa and the next one fluoro immuno assay fluoro immuno assay fluoro immuno assay so the fluoro immuno assay sensitivity is the only 1 ml mu per uh, ml and the time to complete it 2 to 3 hours so time to complete it 3 to 2 hours pca is when first uh, first positive is um, 14 to 17 days and the gestational age when first positive is a uh, 3.5 weeks so 3. Point, the 5 weeks uh, 3.5 weeks so this is about the um, uh, this is blood samples so blood samples is identified the next one <coughs> the next one serum progesterone and the, uh, these are all are the identify the with the using of the samples identify the uh, identify the pregnant or not so the next one method is um, uh, the next one methods is a uh, uh, two methods are completed so one is a physical examination method and the second one is a lab evolution methods